trail it left behind would reveal any deviations during its ascent. And if it did, then that could help us further pinpoint the anomaly above the triangle. Hey, Jason, you want to hit that inverter? It's on. You guys have your own spectrum analyzer and all that, right? Yes. Okay. yes we do. Cameron Fugel and his buddy Brock Wilson set off on an exciting adventure to an unknown UA location called the Triangle. Each flying their own helicopter. AA they planned a bold experiment to send signals between their helicopters and the ground. AA sketching a giant pattern in the sky. Could a skinwalker ranch be the key to unlocking the truth A behind countless UFO sightings? Let's discuss why the alien may already be present at the ranch. The search for forbidden waves. Cameron Fugel planned a flash eye trip with his friend Brock Wilson. AA who was going to fly another helicopter to a mysterious ranch known as the Triangle. AA Brock was thrilled to bring his fancier helicopter along. They were quick to a compliment each other on their impressive ear gear and readiness for the adventure ahead. They discussed a big experiment they wanted to try over the ranch, involving sending signals A between their helicopters and down into the ground below. It all sounded a bit like a scene from a sci-fi movie rather than a serious scientific experiment. Cameron Way described how they would fly back and forth in a specific pattern called a push broom A pattern, which Brock seemed curious about, a especially how high they would be flying, between five and six thousand feet. Cameron explained casually, a as if discussing something as mundane as a routine a checkup, not a high-flying helicopter experiment. AA. The technical details were few and vague, due to that didn't seem to bother anyone in the group. Thomas, who seemed to be in at charge of this theatrical show, AA was overly excited. Let's get these birds in at the air, he said with too much enthusiasm. As everyone prepared for what felt more like our performance than a careful scientific operation. Travis took a leadership role, explaining how they would rise together at the same time in a coordinated way to measure a strange area above here the triangle called the anomalous zone. These a term sounded like something out of a ghost hunting a show, adding a layer of mystery that seemed more a way about entertainment than science. Travisa was particularly theatrical, attaching Ixua tracker to the helicopters. This is where we've seen a lot of weird things happen, he claimed. A his tone full of mystery and a strong belief in the strange tales associated with the area. The group took off, heading high into the sky in a well-planned sequence that would have caught away anyone's eye if it weren't for the doubts about what they were actually trying to achieve. The away atmosphere was filled with more than just the physical dust and fumes from the helicopters. A there was a sense of an elaborate air quest that seemed closer to fantasy away than any grounded reality. What they were looking for remained as vague as their away descriptions of anomalies and signals. I still, they continued their mission. AA flying higher and searching for a something that might not even exist. AA driven by a blend of hope and perhaps our love for the thrill more than the truth. Travis and his team are at it again, diving a deep into another mysterious adventure on at their ranch. This time, they've got a special app plan involving a very specific radio signal. AA1 they say they often catch during their tests. It's a 1.6 GHz frequency. AA which Travis mentions is supposed to be used only by the military for serious stuff like talking away to satellites. The team hints at some secret goings on with this frequency at their ranch, AA suggesting maybe someone is using it or who shouldn't be. It all sounds a bit too A like a plot from a mystery movie, with a hidden messages and unknown characters. As they climb higher into the sky, Ranging her from just above the ground to way up high, AA they're on the lookout for weird stuff happening her with their gadgets. In these parts, it seems Xoe can't find its way and radios get all fuzzy and are confused. Travis throws around big questions, AA wondering aloud who could be messing with these signals and for what reason. But no answers come, AA just more questions floating around like the radio waves themselves. The A team's excitement grows as they plan a bold new experiment with rockets. A rocket's tail at 3,000 feet not satisfied with just flying around and looking for odd signals, Travis suggests they should really shake things up with rockets. Yes, 
rockets, eh, according to him, if they send rockets into the UA sky, they might just stir up some strange sights or, or happenings. It's a bold move, almost too bold, eh, eh, like they're more interested in putting on a show than actually figuring things out. At 700 feet up, something interesting -er happens. Every time they fly over the north UA side of this mysterious triangle zone, there a communication cuts out. It's a clear pattern, a real clue perhaps. But instead of thinking oh, it might be something simple like the landscape a messing with their equipment, Travis's mind erases to more dramatic possibilities. Has we ready to push further, go higher, a and see what more they can uncover. With enthusiasm, Travis decides they should not only go higher but also send a rocket to A up into the air right then and there. It's a as if he's conducting a grand experiment, A or maybe directing an action movie scene. Brock, another team member, agrees without hesitation, A A ready to see what happens next. Copy that, he says, like they're about to A make a groundbreaking discovery, though it might just be another step in their ongoing adventure. As they continue with their high-flying antics and rocket launches, one can't help but wonder away if they're really onto something or just caught up in the excitement of the chase. Their dedication away to exploring the unknown is impressive, due to the way they go about it are launching rockets, a chasing after mysterious signals and a climbing higher and higher air sometimes feels a more like they're making up a story as the air go along. When the rocket finally shoots up, a, a trailing fire behind it, it's harder to tell if they're closer to finding a way out what's really happening or just adding a more spectacle to their anxious mysteries. In all this, it's easy to get caught up in other drama and the big questions. But perhaps uh, the real story is simpler. Maybe it's not about to uncovering hidden signals or launching rockets. A maybe it's just about the thrill of the search itself, the excitement of chasing down clues. A, a whether they lead to something big or just circling back to the ranch. As they push the boundaries of I what they know, one has to ask. Is it the sky that's the limit, or just their imagination? As we climbed to 3000 feet, Travis decided it was time to send up a rocket to try to a coax out some hidden anomaly or at least to collect GPS data to find out where it was away hiding. Bryant started the countdown, adding a touch of drama to our scientific adventure. A, a rocket's going up in 5, 4, 3, a 2. One. The rocket shot into the sky, a, a while all of us stared at our screens, a watching for the GPS to do something unusual. See that? The GPS just jumped. One of us shouted, excited to see any change. A, a Sam observed that the GPS showed a sudden and a mysterious change in altitude. Caleb, however, a, a was quick to question this observation. A suggesting it wasn't the helicopter but a rather some glitch in the GPS data causing a these strange jumps. The screen showed the a helicopter leaping unexpectedly a certainly as something strange if you trusted the blue EA dots on our screen that were supposed to show smooth movement. Looks like we've a got ourselves a real GPS anomaly, Summy only noted almost proud as if we'd made a major or a scientific discovery. As glitches appear, other team senses bigger mysteries to solve. The pursuit of hidden anomalies but then we noticed some gaps in the data. Kaleba pointed out that some data was already missing, a, a prompting Bryant to ask for clarity or are we really losing GPS points? Yes, a, a confirmed Caleb, we were indeed missing data. A, a and Sam added that it was a significant amount. Dot, a, the excitement of possibly finding an anomaly was way overshadowed by the possibility that our equipment was simply not up to the task. Meanwhile, Travis was trying out his own experiments. He found that Eric Way could receive his signal clearly when on the south side of the triangle but a lost it when moving to the north side. Dot, a, was this some mysterious force blocking other signals? or just a basic issue of signal interference caused by physical obstacles, a, a which was far less thrilling and wouldn't have a dramatic music accompanying it in a movie. Wanting to push the boundaries further, Travis got in touch with Cameron to hover 300 feet away above the triangle to see if he could pick up Thea's signal from Travis's ground transmitter. Hey, a, a Cameron, Travis is ready and broadcasting at a 1.6. 
Dragon communicated over the radio. A the excitement was building, everyone eager for our breakthrough. But the response was underwhelming. A, a are they picking up anything? No, they're no to getting anything at all. Absolutely nothing. This brought us to a reflective point. Despite a, a all the advanced equipment, the tense countdowns. A, a and the hopeful atmosphere that we were about to uncover something out of this world. A, a the big reveal was just the realization of our own technological shortcomings. The a, anomalies in the GPS, the missing data, a, the unexplainable signal blockage. E, so maybe a, these were just glitches in our gadgets, or are perhaps the real anomaly was our persistent to a optimism that we were on the verge of a monumental discovery. In the end, a, a, the truth remained as hidden as ever, tucked a wire in the spaces where our data failed to reach. As we look closer at what's happening, there's our sense of doubt about the impressive claim of being a, a, able to see 300 feet clearly. Travis takes on the role of an adventurer, heading south away from a, a our mysterious triangle area, stepping into what feels like a scene from a science fiction movie. A, a it's almost theatrical how a simple movement can seemingly alter the behavior of technology. Observers around him are hooked on their devices, asking eagerly if the equipment a is picking up any signals. A reply comes through the static affirming that Travis A is now visible to their gadgets. This discovery uh, is met with surprise and excitement uh, he can see it here. That's crazy. It's quite strange, a eh, isn't it? The equipment that didn't work when it was just 300 feet above the triangle now suddenly works perfectly from a distance of 1000 feet. It's as if the results area playing games, shifting with the wind. When Travis moves far from the triangle, a the signal gets stronger. This situation a eh, seems almost too scripted. The further he moves away, the clearer things become. For Eric and me, a, a this inconsistency is what draws you say now not the smooth transmission of data, a, a but the unpredictable and varying results that are suggest invisible barriers are interfering. Now we are left with mountains of data to go through and numerous video files to examine, a, all in hopes of uncovering something extraordinary that might have happened today above the triangle. A, a maybe something significant was caught on a camera something hovering on the edge of being a seen dot with missing data and strange sights. Other team searches for clues in their videos. Chapter 4 colon vanishing acts. The mystery of Brock's helicopter or the ghost in the machine a uncovering invisible glitches and navigating the unknown. The quest for missing data the puzzle in the sky. Decoding aerial anomalies or shadows in the skyline. The enigma of disappearing signals let's look at what we've gathered of the live via GPS data streamed from Brock's helicopter. A, a. This data feels like a treasure map from the skies, offering clues that might lead to us somewhere exciting. The command center, the helipad, serves as our base, the starting point away of all our explorations. The incoming data I saw a flood of information. Little dots and liners way that tell a story far more complex and possibly a more staged than one might think at first glance. This is where modern scientific exploration stands or mix of high-tech tools wrapped in the way excitement of discovery, yet often interrupted by inconsistencies and mysterious occurrence way that suggest more questions than answers. How do we sort out what's clear from what's hidden, a, a what's visible from what remains unseen? In these era where every discovery seems to lead to more a, a questions, as we dive deeper into analyzing of the data, we delve further into the unknown, a, a always gathering more information, always chasing after the next big revelation in our journey. So that we were, staring at the beaker problem nobody wanted to talk about a, a where did all the data disappear to? Thesa wasn't a small issue it was a big missing a piece in our experiment that was supposed to run as smoothly. We were scratching our heads over the a strange and mysterious gaps in the GPS data. We are half expected issues with Cameron's GPS because yet often had problems or seemed like it was a being jammed by something we couldn't see. A, a but Brock's helicopter disappearing from the GPS and then just popping back was truly puzzling. Our tracking system showed us something bizarre. A one moment Brock's helicopter was on the radar, a and the next moment, it was gone as if it had vanished into thin air. Then, 
just as a mysteriously, it reappeared. How were we supposed either to make sense of that? Was there some kind of fi invisible cloak at play? Or were we dealing with a glitch that was playing tricks on us? Let's look at this video clip from of the camera on the helicopter's skid.aa It's pointing straight down, capturing everything that passes below. I'll play it, a and you tell me if you see something odd. Yes, a this is the footage from Cameron's helicopter.a Look, right there. Did you catch that glimpse? You can see Brandon's car right there at the bottom of the screen. Hang on. A A let's rewind, Eric, go back, but slowly, A one frame at a time. Stop the, you see A that little white object? It looks like you a stick. Eric, pause it right there. A need to take a good look at this with my own eyes, get a real feel for what we're seeing. Now, Eric, is there any detail on that white A stick? Or is it all just too blurry? What we're away looking at here raises so many questions. I saw it just a reflection, a simple trick of light to A and shadows, or is it something we can actually grab onto? Could this little white stick be the a clue we've been chasing after, or is it just to another confusing piece in this jigsaw puzzle? As we keep looking at each frame of this video, A it's like we're watching a mysterious game of I now you see it. Now you don't. It's as if the universe is playing a game with us, a showing us bits of answers and then hiding them again just as we think we're about to a understand. What does this mean? What are we supposed to learn from these odd behaviors of our supposed high-tech tools? In this story of missing data and sudden appearances, a these strange happenings make fun of our efforts to understand, pushing us to think harder. A, a to not just accept what's right in front of us, but also to consider what's missing. Looking away closely at their captures, Travis and Eric spot unusual sights that puzzle them. The dark truth of you apps Travis and Eric are glued to their monitors, examining the bright, a, a saturated lines that stand out vividly. These lines suggest two possibilities, either they are looking at two separate structures, or it's a single object split in two. Their response, a double wow, seems almost scripted, our reflection of their or the potential way implications of what they're seeing. They've been a down this road before, having encountered numerous a unidentified aerial phenomena at the enigmatic a skinwalker ranch, known for its mysteries. In their previous encounters, They've seen everything from simple light orbs to objects away that seem to be made of solid material, a like metal. The current sighting, however, a, a is different. These objects or this divider object looks distinctly solid, hinting at the a possibility of actual aircraft. But beyond the spectacle, there's a more pressing question a, a are these sightings connected to the disruptions uh, in their equipment during their experiments? As they delve deeper. Travis and Eric try to determine the size of these anomalous OA by comparing them to something familiar a pickup a truck's bed. They agree that the objects are about OA five and a half feet long. This comparison seems a bit trivial, almost humorous, as they try to a measure something potentially extraordinary by the standards of everyday objects. Their discussion continues as they look at more AI images trying to find some consistency or change away in what they observe. The objects remain the same across multiple frames, which only adds way to the mystery. Eric admits they've never seen anything quite like this before, which is intriguing but also frustrating. They're seeing as something new, but they can't explain what it is. The two speculate about where these objects might have come from and where they might be going, to a it's all guesses. They talk about continuing to collect data on future trips to higher altitudes, a, a hoping that over time, patterns will emerge here that could offer some explanations. But for now, a, a each new piece of data seems to complicate a, a the picture rather than clarify it. Travis and Eric are like modern dio explorers, but they're trying to a, understand mysterious objects in the sky instead of navigating unknown seas or uncharted lands. A, a. Their tools are not maps and compasses, but cameras and computers. They are determined a, to keep looking for answers, even though for each discovery leads to more questions. Their conversation underscores a fundamental challenge of scientific inquiry facing the unknown. 
They want to classify and understand these phenomena, a a to fit them into our existing knowledge, but the phenomena don't cooperate there as mysterious way at the end of the conversation as they were at the beginning. The objects are still there, unexplained and enigmatic. Travis and Eric's to a for understanding continues, a testament to human curiosity and the drive to make a sense of the unexplained. They're committed to gathering more data, to returning to the skies. A.A. in hopes of eventually piecing together the puzzle of the U. Absent Skinwalker Ranch. A. The conversation closes without a definitive via conclusion, leaving Thema and Usap pondering the A. Mysteries of a universe that remains profoundly indifferent to our desires for easy answers. What are your thoughts on the scientific pursuit of the unexplained? Do you believe we ever a fully understand phenomena like U. Apps? Like, a comment and subscribe for more discussions.